waterfall is a lot bigger than it looks uh, from across the valley. So got a ways to go. Well, I'm up closer to the cave now. I'd be very careful here because if I slipped and got into that stream of water, it'd be like a slide right to there where it drops a free fall 100, 150 feet straight down off of the waterfall. I better treat this with exceptional care. I must admit this is not quite what I expected. I generally don't have a fear of heights per se or claustrophobia, but I must admit I've just discovered I have a pronounced fear of being washed away in freezing cold water. I'm going to see if I can make myself venture across those rocks and up into that cave. Um, if the next scene you'll see is me inside the cave, you'll know I did it. If not, you know I chickened out. Uh, I'm on the other side of that now. I had to let my boots get soaked and wade across part of it. There's no way to step on rocks. I'm uh, trying to stop from hyperventilating now. I discovered that I have a very real phobia. Scared me to death just wading across that water. I'll take a minute or two to catch my breath and then I'm going into that big dark hole up here as soon as I can breathe. You know, this is not at all what I expected to find here. There's no way to avoid the water. Going up is scary. I don't know what going down is going to be like. Oh. I don't know about this. You know, this is pretty dang cool, but... There's a lot of very slippery rocks between me and the inside of that cave. I think since I'm all alone, I'm going to call it, save this for another day. Maybe when I have somebody to help fish me out of this dang thing. I think I've pushed my luck far enough today. I'm about halfway back down now. If I'd slipped up there, and actually got into that lower part of that stream, the next, about 20, 30 feet farther down is that. Yeah, maybe another day.